speaking of parents, what is the some some democratic schools have a very sort of you know hands off my my kids the the kids when they're here it's their private time and and kind of create a distance for their parents. Uh, others fully embrace it. What what's what's the vibe there? That's a great question. What we're doing is so unusual. So we try to bring parents in in a way that's outside of the time in the space. So we have potlucks and ice cream socials and parties at the end of the year. And then we have several times throughout the year in the evenings, parent circles, mm. where we talk about self-directed education or nonviolent communication or sociocratic governance and things like that. And then we try and keep everything day to day within Embark in Embark. So mm -hmm. that's, you know, running Embark is them, is the young people. We are at our heart, a youth rights organization. Mm. So we are trying very hard to keep their voices front and center. So Andrea is the other staff along with me. We really try hard to get out of their space and we mm -hmm. will check each other too. We'll notice it like, oh, that was super adultist of what I just did. Sorry, let me get out of the way. And let me create space that your voice can be first, because outside of these walls, your voice is not going to be first. So that's that difficult, you know, delicate dance that we do with parents, because this is the young people's space. Mm -hmm. This is the Agentic Schools Vodcast, where you will learn about schools from around the world, where children's agency to make decisions about their learning and living is more important than their academic skills. What makes education possible is the satisfaction of psychological needs. So that is what these schools have in common with all others. What makes a school agentic is satisfying those needs particularly well. I'm your host, Don Burr.